Hi students. Um, this is reading number eight to go along with our next packet of weekly English homework during this distance learning period. Um, this is the afternoon level, which is a slightly lower reading level. Um, if you are listening and reading and finding that this is too easy, flip over, switch over to following along with the AM, the morning reading level, which is just one step more difficult. Um, or listen through this story first to get a general understanding for the main idea and then move over to that more difficult reading to search for new vocabulary. If you are not a member of my distance English class, don't worry, follow along while I'm reading, write down any new vocabulary in your notebook, um, leave any new vocabulary in the comments below, ask me any questions about vocabulary that you don't understand, and together we push up our English vocabulary. This article is called Congress Has Voted to Change School Lunch Rules. And this is a little bit older of an article. This is from May 5th, 2017. Published in Washington, DC. Chocolate milk lovers might have reason to celebrate. Chocolate milk will be staying on the lunch menu. White bread and saltier foods will stay on the menu too. This is part of a huge government budget law released on Monday. The budget tells how the government will spend its money. One section of it is about changing school lunch rules. They will not be as strict. Rules to make school lunches healthier started in 2012. Barack Obama was president. Congress has voted to pass the law. Now it will go to President Trump. He is expected to sign it. The section about school lunches says that schools will get a break. They will not have to follow all of the rules. This means schools could serve more chocolate milk and white bread. Schools will be able to use more salt. It will also be easier for schools to use more salt in food. Obama's rule said that school lunches must have less salt. Schools would have to meet the goal by a certain date. The new rule will give them more time. Eating too much salt can be harmful. It can cause high blood pressure and other diseases, according to the American Heart Association. The rules would be for the 2017 to 2018 school year only. More changes could be coming though. Sonny Perdue is President Trump's Secretary of Agriculture. Purdue says he will review the rules that Barack Obama put in place. Michelle Obama wanted lunches to be healthy. Obama's rules on school lunches came in 2012. 2012. Michelle Obama was first lady. She started a program called Let's Move. It was meant to keep kids active and healthy. School lunches were a big part of it. The rules said schools must limit salty and sugary foods. They had to serve more fruit and vegetables. Kids could have chocolate milk, but only if it was non-fat. Purdue said he talked to students, schools, and food workers. They talked about the problems with the rules. The rules had cost schools a lot of money, he said. Some say rules are not working. Some schools and food workers said the rules were too harsh. They said kids did not want to eat the healthier food. Much of it ended up in the trash. Purdue visited Katokin Elementary School in Leesburg, Virginia. He ate lunch there with three students and Pat Roberts, a senator from Kansas. Roberts is a lawmaker in Kansas. He leads the Senate Agriculture Committee. It helps write laws on farming, food, and health. He says that if students are not eating the food, the rules are not working. Serving food that kids will eat. Roberts thinks schools should be allowed to serve food kids will eat. He has visited schools in Kansas to taste meals. He also talks to students. 
This is just the beginning, Robert said. There are many ways to make school lunches better, he said. Cecilia Munoz worked for President Obama. She said his rules were starting to make a difference. Almost every school was able to follow them, she said. How was this reading for you? Did you find some new vocabulary? Let me know in the comments what vocabulary was new for you. Practice putting that vocabulary into sentences. Um, leave me any questions under the video. And until next time, students, bye.